magical sparks welcome or welcome back to my channel it's sparkle here and guess what recently we reached not only 200,000 but actually at this point more than 230,000 subscribers and to celebrate that today's video is going to be a very very special video where I kind of get you guys to lead the way and yes you did hear that right because while I'm the one who's going to be drawing in today's video <laughs> the truth is that you guys are the ones who are actually in control because we are going to be celebrating reaching 200,000 subscribers by drawing what you tell me. Last time I did this was two years ago and back then I had less than a thousand subscribers and this drawing challenge took me forever but today I'm dedicated and with that dedication and motivation let's get started. So a couple of days ago I posted a community post where I said I'm going to draw what you tell me in the next video. Comment your most creative and fun ideas below and let's celebrate reaching reaching 200,000 subscribers together and guess what I got so 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 many amazing suggestions from you guys so let's try and draw as many as I can today or at least over the span of three days anyways I'm up for the challenge so let's get started so I went ahead and I just kind of scrolled through randomly and the first one that I saw that really kind of stood out to me was a mermaid inspired pop star and now let's get drawing by the way, just a warning, before I made this sketchbook page, or at least this drawing, I hadn't drawn in quite a while, I did kind of take a break from drawing, and because of that, I really just did not like this first sketch, so we're going to completely erase it and start from scratch again, hoping that this time, things go a tiny bit better. Now it's not like I completely stopped drawing or anything, I was still drawing here and there, I still did some drawings in my sketchbook, but overall I kind of gave myself the, I guess, the chance to take a break a little bit and just kind of unwind and recharge myself and because I took a bit of a break from art like a tiny bit it really just helped me to feel more creative and more passionate about creating art and drawing so that's definitely a good thing I also felt like my head was full of so many ideas and I just felt really creative and that was also another nice benefit anyways as you can see me doing here what I'm trying to go for is you know how the idea was a mermaid inspired pop star so so instead of drawing a mermaid, I wanted to draw a human but give them a dress that kind of is inspired by mermaids. So as you can see, the shape of the dress at the bottom is inspired by how a mermaid's tail is. And then the design of the dress and the fish scales are all kind of inspired by that concept. And with that, it is time for the next drawing because there are a lot of drawings in this video. And as you just saw, the next drawing is going to be of Hermione Granger from the one and only Harry Potter. And I really wanted to give this page a bit of a pink theme, so I decided to use this pink mechanical pencil and a pink ballpoint pen to draw Hermione Granger. Um, the thing is, I did have a bit of trouble capturing the look of Emma Watson playing Hermione Granger, but in the end, I still like how the character looks. Like, it doesn't look like Emma Watson, but it still kind of looks nice, like just in general, if you just look at it as a drawing. I'm also really proud of myself for two things. One was trying something different, and secondly was the way I colored or like shaded the hair today. I feel like it looks really cool and yeah, it was just me trying something different. Also, you wouldn't believe how many many suggestions I got to draw Harry Potter characters. Like it was actually a lot of suggestions and honestly, I kind of wish that I did try drawing the golden trio like Harry, Ron and Hermione, but maybe that can be something for next time. And I did tell myself to wait until the very very end to go ahead and add some color and stick and washi tape but obviously I couldn't control myself and I went ahead and did all three things added a bunch of colored stickers and washi tape and here's how this page looks so with that it is time to draw the next thing and I saw spider-man and I was like yes of course Spider-Man is amazing. I love all the Spider-Man movies and all of that. Like, I think it's really, really cool. This time, I decided to go ahead and stick with something simple by just drawing a character with a Spider-Man mask on because I have to do a lot of drawings in today's video. But maybe next time I could try something with a bit more of a semi-realistic style to it or a realistic style or maybe just something different like drawing a scene from the movie. I think that would be pretty cool. But yeah, here is how my drawing is turning out and it's really simple but it was super duper satisfying to do and also really easy and quick. Like you can just see me having fun here right now, drawing in those spider webs, coloring everything red, sketching out a simple face shape. Super easy, super fun, love how it turned out. 
And now it's time for the next drawing. So I saw this comment and I was like, oh, that's so creative. Let's give it a try. It says astronaut and a galaxy themed background. Or maybe you could draw the astronaut landing on the moon. I would love to see what you could do. You're a very talented artist. Firstly, thank you so much. That is so kind of you to say. Secondly, let's give it a try. So I went ahead and I sketched out a box and then I got sidetracked and then I decided to make the box way, way bigger because I wanted to try doing something a little bit, I guess, interesting. I was kind of just winging it and just kind of doing whatever felt right with this drawing. So as you can see, it's a lot of experimentation, but the general idea is to have a moon that's kind of glowing against a blue background. And um, as you can see, it's just definitely a lot of trial and error, trying a bunch of different things. Then I tried doing this swirly technique with my markers and I love how it looks. I love the texture it adds. And then by doing that, I was able to kind of create something that I really, really liked. And now that we have a moon and a galaxy it's time to draw the astronaut landing on the moon and to keep things nice and simple i went ahead and drew this tiny tiny little stick figure using a white gel pen and a flag and there we go we're done we're about a third into this video and i've already made so many drawings so let's see how many more i can make today and now this was the next suggestion that i saw and it was to try and draw a skyscraper like very tall buildings in new york or something kind of architecture style and i don't really know about the buildings in new york what they're called and which ones are like the right ones for me to draw so while i thought about that i took a break added some color to the page with this blue bullet point pen and then i decided to go ahead and draw an architecture style drawing but not of new york buildings but instead something that i do know which is the eiffel tower and i'm sorry if that's not exactly what you suggested i'm really happy that you suggested something so cool i just decided to go with this i hope you like it though <laughs> anyways i pretty much grabbed out a muji pen and started sketching and honestly it's not completely accurate but if you look at it from a distance and because it's so small I think it looks fine <laughs> now I wasn't planning on this to happen but in the end I'm so happy this page kind of came together because like spider-man has a red and blue theme as you can see and the drawing that I'm making right now I've used some red and blue washi tape on the side and down below we have a red flag and a blue galaxy and somehow it all kind of worked out pretty well shocking <laughs> anyways here is our second page done and finished and now let's move on to our third page or isn't the third page because i'm going to be skipping a page because i decided to use markers for the next one and then someone commented you should draw taylor swift and then i was like yes this is the perfect chance for me to use my markers and draw one of taylor swift's pretty pretty outfits and in specific i really wanted to draw her purple dress because it looks so so pretty and elegant she looks like a disney princess wearing it so i decided to draw that and as you can see i did have a bit of starting trouble with the pose but eventually i figured it out and i'm happy that i kind of persevered and stayed resilient because it was not easy for some reason <laughs> i guess it was just one of those days where drawing becomes a little bit of a struggle anyways once i had the top part of the pose down the rest was pretty easy because it was just drawing the dress and i had so much fun drawing the dress and outlining the dress and coloring the dress honestly i was super duper excited to draw the dress <laughs> you know in case that wasn't already really really obvious anyways after some more outlining i went ahead started the line art then i decided to use this purple fine liner that i have and i'm really happy i did because i feel like it just added such a soft look to the drawing since the dress is purple and the outlining is purple it just worked out really well and soon you'll get to see that as well and now with the outlining done it's time to start coloring right after raising and you know what let's get straight to it today i kept the coloring kind of simple like i didn't use too many colors to color in the skin like i didn't use purples and pinks to shade i just kind of worked with the two markers and i kind of like the simplicity it was partially because I really just wanted to color in the dress <laughs> and secondly because like I said there were a lot of drawings that I wanted to work on for this video so I kind of had to move a little bit faster than usual. <laughs> By the way when I meant the coloring I meant the coloring of the hair and the skin. I kept that kind of simple but for the dress don't worry I did my best. <laughs> Mm 
By the way, I did try my best to draw as many suggestions as I could in this week's video, but if I didn't get around to drawing your suggestion, I'm so sorry. But I do really want to say thank you so much for taking your time to think of and comment your amazing drawing ideas under the community post I posted. It really means a lot to me that so many people commented their amazing suggestions. And let me know if you guys would like another part to this kind of style of videos where I let you guys decide what I draw. Again, thank you so much to everyone who commented. Also, right now, I'm kind of going ahead and just trying to add a couple of sparkles by using this metallic gel pen, like this silver gel pen. And it looks so, so cool under the light and in real life. And I turned on flash here just to show you guys because it looks so sparkly. I was going to add sparkles all over the dress, but then I decided to kind of limit myself a tiny bit and just add it near the bottom part of each of these sections but I still love how it looks and just because I felt like we could add even more purple to this page I went ahead grabbed out a purple marker and started coloring in the background and now here is the final result and you know what stay until the very end for a final final grand reveal because there are still a lot more drawings to come and now for the next drawing after some more scrolling I found this a piece of broccoli and of course I wanted to draw exactly that a piece of broccoli but not in this sketchbook but actually in my other sketchbook instead and the reason why is something you'll find out a little bit later anyways starting it off I use my alcohol based marker to just kind of draw a box for the background then I grabbed out these acrylic markers to go ahead and start drawing the broccoli I'm so happy this set came with a bunch of greens because they were all perfect for this drawing and now finally I'm gonna go ahead and add some more extra details with another alcohol based marker just to bring it all together and with that it's time for the next drawing which was to draw a guy inspired by a panda let's do it so instantly the idea that my brain jumped to was to draw a guy who has a panda inspired outfit or panda inspired accessories and just as a fun addition i thought what if he's holding like a couple of pieces of bamboo like i thought that might be pretty cool so I went ahead and drew exactly that. I was thinking about giving his shirt like a panda kind of design to it, like with black and white, or maybe just drawing a panda like in the middle of it. But then I thought, wouldn't it be more cool to draw like a panda beanie? So I did that instead. And because I did that, I decided to keep the shirt nice and simple. I feel like I could have added some spots and black circles to kind of represent panda fur, but I thought that might end up being a little bit too much or like a little bit too distracting. So instead, I just stuck with the panda beanie and the bamboo to kind of represent the panda aspect of this drawing. It is definitely simple, but honestly, I'm starting to love simple because simple is really nice and simple is super fun. And just to add some texture to the background, I was going to draw a vertical bamboo, but then I decided that instead of that, what if I try to shake things up by kind of drawing horizontal bamboo shapes? And I kind of like it. Kind of looks like green bricks, but I love it. It looks pretty cool. Then I outlined everything with black and then a white gel pen and with that this drawing is complete. And now it's time for the next one. I saw this, it says Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, green colors and what stood out to me most of all was Tinkerbell and green colors because as you can see the broccoli and the guy drawing below are both green. So I thought if I drew Tinkerbell right now, it would be perfect. I was going to draw Peter Pan, but then I only could fit Tinkerbell on this page. So I decided to just stick with Tinkerbell for now. Still love the suggestion. Now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I should have drawn Peter Pan as well because it would have also fit within the color scheme, but it's a tiny bit late at this point. Still awesome idea. <laughs> And now look at how small this Tinkerbell drawing is. Like, look at my hand and look at this drawing. It's so tiny. And just for fun, I decided to go ahead and bring out my old sketchbook. So this was the sketchbook filled with the drawings that I made when I first started my channel. And this was in one of my very first videos where I did the 15 days of Disney drawing challenge. And look at the difference between the Tinkerbell that I drew then and the Tinkerbell that I'm drawing right now. Like, that's the difference between 2021 and 2024 
Anyways, let's keep going. Now the thing is, if I used alcohol-based markers in my normal sketchbook, it would have ruined the drawing on the other side. But at the same time, I did want to fill in these pages. So I decided to kind of work around that by doing this, by drawing in a separate sketchbook and then cutting out my drawings and gluing it in my normal sketchbook. I also decided to glue in this green piece of paper to cover up the bleed through from the other drawing. And I think that worked out pretty well. Now I just went ahead and added some color to the background using the Artex acrylic markers. They work really well, by the way. And then I went ahead and glued in this drawing. I love how it looks already. And as you can see, this spread is going to have a very nice and fun green theme. And now that we're on the topic of green, if you have been watching this far into the video, like if you have watched until 15 minutes and 25 seconds, can I just say you are truly, truly amazing? And to let me know that you made it this far into the video without skipping or fast forwarding, make sure to comment this emoji down below. And thank you so, so much for watching this far. And now it's time to start again it's a brand new day and i'm gonna grab up my sketchbook and start drawing before that here is a drawing that i made recently during my live stream and it's this drawing of mickey mouse if you would like to check out the live stream to see how we kind of created this page i also made this drawing as well of dumbledore and a boy and now i'm ready to start drawing for today's video i went ahead and grabbed down my ipad went to the community post opened it up and this time i scrolled all the way to the complete bottom and then I decided to start my search from there. Once I reached the complete bottom, I started searching for different ideas of what to draw and in the end, here is what I found. So it says, can you draw a TV? And in the TV, there will be a woman talking about the weather. I think that's a cool idea, so let's give it a try. Now, just like last time, I'm gonna go ahead and draw in this tiny sketchbook so we can draw against a white background instead of a green one. And then I went ahead and drew out a tiny TV and a tiny person. And then I decided to scroll all the way back to the top and continue my search from there this time. Then I saw this, draw an intricate made of flower. So then I started sketching and then I realized what's the point of sketching when I can just wing this and have fun so I grabbed out a black marker and just kind of started making things up as I went and in the end I think I did achieve the goal of making up my own kind of flower because I doubt you'd be able to find this type of flower in real life Anyways, here's how it turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I then saw this comment which was to draw animals as humans or trolls as humans and do Poppy as a human. And then you know what a big coincidence is? I very recently drew Poppy as a human in my art style and here's how the drawing turned out. I also posted a short video if you'd like to check it out. And with that, I think I've achieved that part of the challenge. So I decided to go ahead and take this chance to kind of work on the TV. And I decided to just go ahead and glue these two drawings in for now until I find the next one. And then I randomly had the idea to go ahead and add even more green to this page as if there wasn't already enough. <laughs> but honestly, green is such a pretty color. So I decided to add even more. And then here's how it's looking. Time to glue in our two mini drawings. And now it's time to figure out what our final drawing is going to be that I'm going to place in the middle. Then I saw this, a cat holding a teacup. And guess what? I don't know how to draw cats. So I tried my best with this and I kind of took it as a learning experience. I made a tiny sketch, but I didn't like it. So I tried to make it again, but bigger and better. Here's how it's looking. Unfortunately, I like the sketch much more than the final drawing. So let's just enjoy this moment of how it looks now. For some reason, I thought let's color the cat green. And from there, everything kind of went downhill and... In the end, I ended up creating a green cat, so I decided to just make a drink out of this and enjoy the moment. So now we have a green cat drinking green tea. And here's how that looks. Anyways, stay for the very final reveal because that will be at the very end of this video. Then I saw this comment, which was, you should draw Mr. Drew as a human and a dog. I think that's really cool because I have drawn him as a human before, but that was a couple years ago when he was younger, but I've never actually tried drawing him as a human and a dog at the same time in the same illustration. So I kind of decided to go ahead and try drawing Mr. June as both a human and a dog with the human version holding up the dog version. <laughs> like that's actually such a creative idea. <laughs> the thing is last time he had no facial hair in the drawing because last time he was very young when I drew him as a human. So I decided that it wouldn't really make sense to add too much facial hair. So I kind of drew him as like a young boy or like a teenager. Now he is much more older and much more wiser. So now I decided to draw him as a mature, young 
young adult because that's pretty much what he is <laughs> and I decided to go ahead and draw the facial hair because sometimes it looks like he has a moustache especially when he's smiling it looks so adorable so I tried to capture that and also when he was a puppy the tips of his tail and the tips of his ears and some of his like hair near his mouth used to be like a brown color and there was some hints of black there as well he looked really really cute and he still does and and if you can't tell i'm a huge animal lover i love animals i think all animals are so cute anyways like i was saying i tried my best to incorporate the brown color that he had in his fur and the hints of black that used to be there as well by drawing the coat buttons black and coloring it brown and then i also went ahead and added his little blue tie that he sometimes wears nowadays he looks really cute with it then to match his tie i colored the background blue but just slightly more desaturated then i went ahead just added some highlights outlined the drawing a little bit and then added some more details and stuff like that and then i decided to go ahead and use this washi tape just to fill up the extra space on the page so i went ahead and took it out in a very nice and fun way and then i went ahead and added some some washi tape to the top of the page and to the bottom it's just a nice quick way to add some color and a bit of a design to the page then i'm signing it off because i think we all know what that means it means i'm done with this drawing and now it's time for the very final and grand reveal of everything that we've made in today's video so here it is Those are all the drawings that we made today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, thank you so, so much for helping our channel reach over 200,000 subscribers. You're all the best. Bye.